Echo available for playback nearby. A little to the left. There! Kevin, look! Hello, Kevin. You know my name? But... Wait. It's you! Get in, Angela. We have an honored guest. Welcome to the Spring Blossom Settlement, Agent. Come. Aunt Angela will be glad to see you. Well, hello. Welcome, Agent. Good to see you all made it. All thanks to you and Agent Kelly. I understand things have been rough. It's been a dark winter. After you got us out of Chinatown, we spent a week at a refugee camp at Washington Square. That place was terrible. Yes. Conditions there were... abysmal. When I suggested to Fei Lao that we build the settlement, she heartily endorsed the plan. So now, we're building a new home, where everyone is welcome. Spring is coming. Hope has been rekindled. Looks impressive. We've had plenty of support Everything. ourselves. A lot of skilled people pitched in. Why not have a look around, and then we can talk more afterwards. Thank you. I will. Not bad, huh? And we've only been at it for a few weeks. What do you do for food? This bridge leads to our rooftop stockpile. And then we got the greenhouses set up beyond that. Moss has gotten all sorts of crops going already. Moss? Our handyman. 
He set up the power grid, the fresh water system, everything. I only wish Aunt Angela cared more about protecting it all. Yeah, I, uh, haven't seen much security. Exactly. My aunt feels we should convey a welcoming image, diffuse tensions and crap like that. I wanted machine guns by the gate. Those searchlights are it. Has the city gotten safer? Not really. Anyway, I need to hook up those searchlights to the grid. Catch you later. Portable electronic device detected. Hey, what do you think? It's amazing what you've accomplished so quickly. Quite something, isn't it? We get new arrivals every day. We even got our own school. One of the teachers is an NYU professor. Now he's doing elementary school. The kids love him. Many orphans? <sighs> Too many. Anything we can do to restore a sense of normalcy and stability to their lives. That's why I don't want armed people everywhere. How can we ever hope to rebuild if we just perpetuate the idea that we're living in some post-apocalyptic nightmare? Sorry, no offense. I understand that exceptions have to be made. Untaken. But I gather you and your nephew don't agree on this. <sighs> if Kevin had his way, this place would be bristling with guns. I want us to be a beacon of hope, not some nuclear bunker. Well, you've given me some hope at least. Glad to hear it. Please continue your tour, and I'll meet you by the clinic. I'm so sick of the whining. Things can be so much worse for them. They have a safe place here at Spring Blossom, but nothing's ever good enough for them. Not everyone is as strong as you. And not everyone can accept the way things are now. It's their fear talking. They're terrified. I think they're ungrateful. I don't think so. I think they're very grateful. They just don't know how to show it. If we can make things even better here, it'll lessen their fear. We just need to encourage everyone to keep busy and help out. I wish I had your faith in people. <laughs> 